Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Treasures. So today, I will be FaceTiming Ariana. She's actually with me on the phone right now. You guys can say hi. There she is, oh it's kind of dark. Hi. I can't even see you because of the ring light here if I do it this way. There you go. Hi, also guys, <laughs> I just wanna say, I'm sorry if the fire alarm keeps going off. I did try to fix it and it didn't work and it's getting fixed next Monday. So if you hear beeping, it's my fire alarm, so I, I apologize. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are probably wondering, like, what are we doing? So Ariana and I decided that we were going to do some questions. What is it called? Like, assumptions? Yeah, so it's going to be, like, asking my sister questions. Girls are too afraid to ask their sister. Okay, so we're just going to jump right into this. Even though she's, like, 1,400 miles away. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe, like, a 1,000. So, okay, I'm going to sit you guys down. Okay. Are you ready for the first question? I'm ready. Okay, first question. I'm so sorry about the smoke alarm. Okay, first question. Have you ever smoked a cigarette? <laughs> I'm actually curious. Because I don't think I've ever told you because it was just no. like the age gap and stuff. Um, I actually have. I've tried one. And I didn't like it, and I won't ever smoke them again. Understandable. So. The smell, like, I'm, I'm the same. Well, I've never tried one, but I just, my mom used to do it, so, like, I don't really like the smell. But I'm with you. Like, I, I wouldn't do it. It's, it just smells too gross to me. Okay. You know, we're starting off easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Second question. How old were you when you got your first tattoo? Ooh. Do you remember when I got my first tattoo? Was it You're, your first tattoo, this one? Yeah, the one on my arm. And... Eesh. I think I had just turned 18. And really? I told, yeah, and I told I mom. Got tattoo, I got my first tattoo when I had literally just turned 18. Too. I was like, Mom, I'm getting a tattoo. Like, make sure you do your research and are you sure? Because it's going to be on your body forever. And I was like, yeah. I actually wanted to go and get what, my ribs. And mom's like, what if you have a baby? And she'd like talk me out of it. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to get my thigh. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. My arm. My arm. I said thigh. I was thinking. And wait, what does the tattoo mean again? Uh, family happy, blessed. So. Yes, I remember. I remember. Okay. What is your favorite story from your childhood? <sighs> That's a good one. That's a good one. From my childhood? I just feel like it's so hard after everything that you and I have been through, just like in foster care in general, you know? Yeah. You don't really have, unfortunately, like the best childhood memory. I would say once mom and dad brought me into their home, my memories with you and Howie just like always being there for me, or always curious. And Hannah, like what I'm doing and my makeup yeah. or No, I was gonna say I remember guys, there was this one time Melinda was like going through like all of her old makeup and he gave us this black eyeliner. Do you remember? And I started putting it on I started putting it on every day. I thought it was so cool. And then unfortunately I did get in trouble because I was too young for makeup at the time. But it was fun in the moment. It was <laughs> I know, Mom did life. not like that. But I was like, here you go. Because, like, <laughs> they're your little sisters, and you just want them yeah. to be happy. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. I don't even know this one, I don't think. When did you have your first kiss? Like, how old were you when you had your first kiss? Oh, my goodness. I had my first kiss when I was, I think I was actually only 16. Is that bad? That's not bad. 16. No, that's not bad. I think I had mine when I was 15. 15? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was, it was 16. Filming, <laughs> it was when I was filming the show, the Karma show in California. Oh, my gosh. Was it one of them? <laughs> like, it wasn't, like, a boyfriend or a crush. It was just someone you had a kiss on the show. Well, I mean, I thought the guy was cute on the show. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah wait, do you remember like your? Do you remember like your first? Kiss oh wait, no, I lie. It wasn't sixteen. It was 
was younger? I was probably, it was like fifth grade. <laughs> yeah, I was like 16, but I was like, no, it actually wasn't. I think it was like fifth grade. Oh my gosh. And you're like 11, right? Story. Huh? Do you remember the story? I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I just got so nervous. It wasn't just like a kiss. It was like full blown like, <laughs> and make you know. <laughs> and it was like before he walked me. <laughs> he walked me to my bus. <laughs> and we were getting on the bus. Yeah, it was, it was actually eleven. I was like, oh my gosh! I was like, I have my first kiss. something that this is something you would ask like if you ever become like first time mom yeah parent Wait, ask the question again does it hurt no how does it feel oh how does it feel like, if you ever do choose to breastfeed a child if you have any of your own you're just really worried because you want them to latch and I mean that's about it it's just I feel like the main thing that hurts the most is when you get full and you have to pump because that's, I don't know how to explain that without being like keeping it PG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm picking you, up. You pick what I'm putting down because yeah. it just hurts once they are full and you have to pump because it's so much milk. But Yeah, no, like I've seen like, I've seen TikToks and people will be like waking up in the middle of the night because they say they're tender and like hard because they're, just, they're full. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Next question. Do you have any regrets in life? I mean, there were, I feel like there was things I wish I didn't do, but if it didn't happen naturally, then I wouldn't be where I am today. That's a very good answer. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good answer. Like, oh, I shouldn't have done that, or I wish I had done this differently, but you can't go back. You just yeah, gotta learn true. from them. That is true. Everyone, everyone's where they're at today because of the things that they've done, whether it was good or bad, so... Yes, you just gotta live with it. I keep yawning and it's like midday. <laughs> <laughs> um, was giving birth scary? Yes, I was super nervous. Like you just hear so many stories and then I was on the epidural so I didn't really feel anything which made my experience less scary, but it's just everything that is happening, that is around you, everything that's going on, you just gotta do it. it you know, like, you're having a baby, it's gonna happen. Now, this kind of ties into that question, because you said you got the epidural. If you were to have a kid again, would you do the epidural, or would you want, like, a natural birth? Mm, I would probably do the epidural again, just because I'm, I got to feel a little bit of what it was, because my epidural, it goes in your back. And, okay, I heard it's like a huge needle. Yeah, and at one point it did come out, and I felt like... The needle? Yeah, and I Wait, felt... the needle stays in your body? <laughs> and I just remember them saying, like, I think the epidural, like, came out of my back or whatever, and the nurse was like, no, and the father was like, well, can I, can you guys check, please? And they're like, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, it did come out. And so you have to get it twice? Yeah, and so for that time being, I felt what it was like to really push, like, natural birth. Like, I felt it for a few seconds, and it was not fun. It was not fun at all, and, and I was just like, I'm good. So, I don't know. Kudos to the moms, like, natural birth and have it, a birth at their home. I'm going to lower you real quick. Give me one second. I just feel like I'm playing peekaboo with you. How do you feel about that, my, my answers? Uh, no, I feel like that was a good answer. I, when I'm pregnant, I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> I just don't want to feel the pain, but then it's so hard because then I didn't know how much I was pushing. You know, like you just mm -hmm. don't know. Yeah. Also, another question. Is it true... Like, okay, I don't know if you did it, and, like, I don't know if it's TMI, 
but I've heard, and maybe it's just like them in the movies. I don't know. But like, is it true that some girls poop on their baby while while giving birth? I can probably see that happen, but it's like that's why they don't ask you to eat because you're pushing. Does that make sense? You're pushing yeah. and all that pushing. Like there's you can't eat from the time you start to give labor to. Yeah, like during labor, and then you can eat after because you push so hard that you might poop. Isn't that crazy? But I did find out that I did like a little bit. And so for the women that probably don't listen to their doctor in that part, they probably ate something and then they end up pooping. Oh, so you ate during it? I didn't eat during it, but you're pushing so hard, it probably pooped out like... A little bit of like left, what was left in your system. <laughs> that makes sense. So, yeah. and that's why you're just like, give me a burger or something, because you're so hungry <laughs> after birth. But yeah, that's not. That's not. They're not off about that. Okay. Okay. Now I know. Now I know. Okay. Next question. This is one that. I- I'm going just, to I'm just ask the question. I'm not going to get too much detail. Have you ever lied to mom and dad about where you were going? Lied? Like when you were a kid. Yeah, like when you were like in high school. Like, no. Did you ever lie to mom and dad about where you were going? No. I was always <laughs> honest. Yeah. Good for you, Melinda. Yeah. <laughs> no, everyone take after her because you should not lie to your parents about where you're going. If you really need to lie about where you're going, you should not be going there. <laughs> Yeah, and but yeah, no, I was honest, and we still had the app that we have now. If you remember when we were younger, well, when I was younger, we used the same app. This kind of ties what you were like, what you were starting to say kind of ties into my next question. Okay, did you ever go to any parties? (laughs) And if so, if so, like, how are the parties compared to like parties now? I did go to one. I wasn't, I don't know, I didn't go to a lot of parties, but when I did, things weren't communicated correctly, and so I was in trouble, and then I wasn't in trouble, and then I got my phone back. (laughs) So, um, it kind of played out in my part, and I don't know about the parties now, because I just, I don't go to, like, house parties. You know, did you ever go to a house party? Yeah, I've gone to, like, a few when I was in college. They don't really have a lot, like, here in Atlanta, but, like, in Arizona thing. But it was, like, whenever I'd go to house parties there, they'd always have, like, a big speaker, you know, people dancing, going in and out of the backyard, like, stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I just felt like, I don't know. I just felt like it would be different, like, from when you were in high school or in college to when, like, where I am now. Yeah, I wouldn't even know. I'd be like, what? I'm too old for this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we're old enough. I'm old enough to, if I want to party, my definition of party would be like going to a club. You know what I mean? Not some house party. <laughs> but, I feel like house party just sounds like such like a little kiddish. It sounds like you're going because you're going to be a bad kid. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you're doing all the things that you're not supposed to be doing. Yeah. But I've only been to a couple. And then when, I want to say when I was, like, 18, 19, I was going to school and working. So I was like, I want money. (laughs) Yep. Everyone loves money. (laughs) (laughs) Well, she doesn't have any more questions for me. I feel like those were really good questions. So we are going to end the video. And I just want to say, first, I miss you so much. I miss you too. Oh, I want to see you so bad. Maybe soon. I'll start saving up a lot you more need to money. You come out here. Yes, I'll come out to you. And then we can plan to go out or something. Mm-hmm. But I'll probably talk to you later today. But thank you for doing this with me. I had fun doing it. Yeah. Have fun. We'll have to do a part two so I can get a little bit more questions to get a little bit deeper and more spicy. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye.